Let's talk to PBA Tour Sensation. Let's talk to Kyle Troop. <laughs> and with that, you old, you old sailor. Hey, my father always said I'd rather be lucky than good any day. <laughs> but I think it's better to get lucky. Am I right? But seriously, Kyle, thank you very much for giving me that advice. I also want to thank you for giving me the hair pick. Talk about an awesome moment. I know I look nervous. It's because I am nervous. I was wondering if you would sign the hair pick you just gave me. Of course, Carl. Anything for you. Seriously? With a stash like that, man, I'm going to do anything. <laughs> could you imagine if you did have a stash? Like, could we do that? Oh. Could we they put this stash on that face? They fear the fro already. <laughs> you know, uh, Hard's got the fear of the beard. This but guy, that's because he can't grow the fro. There we go, baby. Come on. So for you. Number one. Hi, Mom. Let's go, bowl. Let's do it. All right, get ready for this, guys. If I seem excited, it's because what follows is fucking awesome. We get to go under the fro of Kyle Troop on the practice lanes. What do you think about it? How do you pick the ball? What arrows are you looking at? Tell me about the Don Carter 39-foot oil pattern. What goes through all that shit? And this is heavy stuff here. It gets emotional a little bit. Are you nervous? What about pre-shot routine? Do you have a routine oh, you go through? That's my you know, bread and butter there. You know, I think it's uh, focus on your process and stay in the moment. All right, so we're going to strike for $100,000, right? Yes. This is the $100,000 shot. So. Wipe the shoe. I always want to wipe the oil off the ball. That kind of gives you a fresh cover. Okay. So you can read the lane the same way. If there's a bunch of oil on it, then it's going to do it a little different. Okay. So I'll always wipe it off. Slide my left foot up. Figure out where I want to stand. The most important part is you got to take a deep breath. That's the big thing. And that means go. Flat tip. <laughs> now, what happens there? Do you know when that, why that doesn't strike? Yeah, so what I would probably do, I'm probably a little too far left. So I would probably move my feet one or two boards down here, as you can see. Okay. And then we have 40 boards across the lane. Because yeah. uh, you've seen that ball hit and then just deflect. Yeah. Kind of hit like a wet potato or yeah. a wet pillow type thing. That one was pretty weak. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't a very good representation. Now, this isn't hard for you to pick up a one-pin spare at all, though, is it? No. no Never. Definitely. First spare I shot today, I was a little nervous, but. So, what about the fact that when you're throwing a straight ball, you're still spinning it out of your hand? Yeah, so it's still got revolutions on the ball, you know, especially being a two-handed baller, we have a kind of a higher RPM. But uh, with the cover and, you know, there's no core on the inside of the ball, it's just gonna glide. Yeah. But that's what it's built for, you know, not to curve very much. Because uh, strikes are for show, but spares make the dough. That's right, spares Gotta make cover the dough. The spares. Okay. Now, if you leave an open frame, are you just dead? Not necessarily, okay. especially when they're a little more difficult. You know, whenever it's high scoring, yeah, an open can kill the game. But the simple rule in bowling, for every open, you need to double for two strikes to kind of two make strikes, up for okay. it. So it can definitely kill the game. Yeah. It can kill momentum, you know, a lot of things, especially in a head-to-head -head match, yeah. like in the playoffs that so we have. So tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Like tomorrow, the head-to-head -head match in one game, you can't make any mistakes. You can't miss a spare because that's, that's 20 pins right. against the best bowlers in the world. Probably not going to work out too good. So, I'd be honest with you, are you nervous? I mean, there's always nerves, but it's all about how you handle the nerves. You know, everybody's nervous, we all want to win, but you know, getting on TV, you know, we don't have the crowd here right now, but you know, still being in front of the cameras, it makes me at home. You know, I feel comfortable in front of the camera. And so I've got some confidence going into the week. You know, I'm bowling great in this center, and uh, I'm a confidence player. If I'm not feeling confident, I'm probably going to, you know, I don't even need to come into the bowling center. So, okay. yeah, that's... Uh, I feel good.